All right, everyone, it's Triple Four Card Facts. Hope everybody's doing good today. I got wore out at work today. But I'm going to show you a few artifacts today. Start off with this one right here. You see the cuts in it, this axe head. They used on for, you know, hatchets or axes. You can see where the wood went up on it right here. A little bit of indention going down through right here. Right here's another one. You see where the wood went up right here. See the point of it. These are some pretty nice axe heads. Now all these was found on the same uh, gravel bar. Okay, here's another one. See a little bit of indention right here where your wood went up it. What sunk in right here. All the way down it. It's a little bit higher on the back end. Got a good little blade on this end. Here's another one. It's a little bit shorter, a little bit fatter, made out of quartz. See where it's been chipped out right here? Like kind of layered. It's been chipped right here. But like I said, all these are found on the same gravel bar. And it was uh, one of the last videos I've showed when that real long gravel bar, uh, that's the ones they was found on. All right, here's another one. It's got a little bit of river stain on it. See the tip of it right here. Right here, it kind of looks like a, it went on a piece of wood, but kind of looks like it might have been like a pick of some kind. So we're spinning dentions right here. Like this picking picking something with it, maybe. Or it could have been maybe like a little uh, p uh, seed planter to dig your holes for your seeds, maybe. Okay, right here's another axe head. Been busted on this end right here. See what's been chipped out. Now on that on that trip this last Sunday, and me and Barry and Jordan went on where Jordan was in them shorts. Me and Barry didn't have shorts. He he went swimming a lot. Okay, right here to me looks like it might be some kind of a little hoe or you no know, chipper or something of some kind. If anybody knows, you know I appreciate you leaving me a comment. If I had somebody leave me a comment about these are all river rocks, but you know. And they're chipped out like that up there and different angles like that you know that it's not just river rock i mean i'm not saying nothing bad about the guy's judgment or nothing like that but okay right here's a little grinder maybe a fine herb grinder because it's pretty smooth down here so they probably used it for fine herbs it's good and polished smooth see the shape of it Pretty artifact right there. Okay, now right here, it's either a, a, a celt or an abs. You know, I kind of think it might have been a celt. Because the angle's on it. It's a pretty artifact too. It's good and smooth all the way around. And we run into a little bit of pottery. Well, this here come off of a light bowl. Jordan had the other piece to it. And he didn't want this piece, but I said, let me have it. I'll take it and show it. Got a little bit of age to it. Okay, now right here, I found this. And you know, it probably went to an old bottle. 
probably early, early 18, or late 1800s, early 1900s maybe, with the design on it, and maybe a little 1920s maybe, you know, probably not no higher than that. Jordan found this one. It cracked when we bring the home right down through here, and I glued it back together. And then got that little lip on the bottom like that one there it does. Okay. And it's pretty thick glass. And see if anybody thinks anything about this earring. Got the back on it and everything. I'd have to say maybe, I don't know how far back the backs of the, like this went on air rings. Or somebody could have just stuck that on there. But the air ring itself kind of looks like it might have been like in the early 1900s, like 1920s, maybe 1930s. Anybody have any idea maybe? Appreciate any ideas, you know, information on it. That's all I got today. And I appreciate any new subscribers, viewers, any comments. I'll take them all, good or bad. I mean, I don't consider just somebody gets bad comments or something like that. I don't look bad on them. But, you know, you just know how it goes. But I appreciate all the viewing, all the subscribing I've been getting here lately. And uh, y'all have a good day. See you on the next one.